Hey moms, um, there are two things, or maybe three, that I uh, I wanted to remind you of this morning. They're very important things that I think you should keep very close to your heart as you navigate um, your divorce experience and, and your healing. These three things are very, very essential and very important. The first one is that you are still a child of God, no matter what. Don't allow anybody or anyone to make you doubt this fact. You are still a child of God. You might say that um, divorce is a sin, that uh, is not for Christian women, that you, as a Christian woman, you should have stayed into your marriage. Let me tell you. You've like died. You will have died a very foolish death, in the eyes of God, if you stayed in that marriage. So, you are still a child of God. He will not forsake you because of this. There's no way. That's a big lie. He wants you to believe and you know stigmatize and and um and and shame you for. Don't allow that. The second thing. I really want you to, you know, to 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 write in in hot letters into your brain, is that if it happened, it was meant to happen. If it happened, it's because God allowed it. If it happened. There's nothing you could have done to avoid it. Why? And this is the third reason. Because divorce too is a very, very deep. It's a very, very deep spiritual experience. I said it. Divorce too is a very, very deep spiritual experience experience because of the depth of the pain that you go through and the amount of transformation the amount of inner transformation the amount of soul transformation it brings to you divorce is a terribly deep 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 spiritual experience for anybody who goes through it. The only thing for me in that experience that for me should bring you peace as a woman of God is that you tried your best. You did what you could and you can honestly say in all your conscience that I gave it my best. For me, I used to say, even while I was married, that I felt like I'm, I'm the only one holding this this marriage with both hands like that. And the day my hands will, the day my hands will be weak, that will be the end of it. And that was exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. But in the end, I was able to say that I gave it everything I could. But I reached my breaking point. Like any human being, you have your breaking point. And in fact, it's very, very foolish. I say it again. It's very foolish to die in the hands of a man who doesn't know your value and doesn't know the value of your life. And I think that would be very, very foolish too. In the eyes of God. Because at one point of, or the other, we have this free will. That God gave us. We have the ability to choose. And we have the ability to choose ourselves. When the situation requires it. So. Those are the three things. First one. Yes. A child of God no matter what. Second one. If it happened. It was meant to happen. Third one. Divorce is a deep and intense spiritual experience too. Anybody doubts that, 
after my wear your shoes. I love you, moms. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.